Hello! Welcome to part three of uh, Let's Build a Kingdom, Courtland Dune style. Uh, here you can see me working on the house in the back. Still don't know what I'm doing. Um, just playing around with the door there, trying to make it look more interesting, give it a uh, roof, or not a roof, a, an overhang of some kind. Throwing in the windows there. I didn't like the chimney being made of stone, so I changed it to brick, and I gave it a little stone step top. The uh, roof there I was experimenting with, giving it a strange looking overhang, but uh, I didn't like it. Now we're on the inside of the building. And putting in some carpet. And it, I almost put the second floor on when I realized you guys are up there. <laughs> Gotta have some place to sit, obviously. Now right here is where I start thinking about stairs. And I wasn't exactly sure how to put them in. Until I figured out I could just do a sort of a double a two floor stair situation. Putting in some chests and a furnace just to make it sort of a usable space. Adding some uh, upside down steps on the uh, ceiling there to make it look more interesting. And I think we're done. Throwing in the second floor. And this is going to be a bedroom, and I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do. I put a second fireplace in, and here I am playing with beds. I was seeing if wool would make a, be a good bed, but it didn't look very good at all. Finally, I decided to just put a bed on a little high-rise. Now, there is room for a third floor, but I wasn't really sure what to put up there, and I didn't want to cover it up completely. It just seemed a little strange that way. So, what I ended up doing is I just put in a shelf up there and kind of made it into a semi-attic... Semi more of an observation deck, really. Now I'm outside again, and I'm going to work on the, the right back house. This house was connected to the second house that I worked on. And I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this one either, because... I mean, what do you do with a house that's connected to another house? It doesn't really make sense. <laughs> so, I'm just experimenting with making it look interesting, really. Putting some edges on there to give it some depth. And I decided to put an arch on it. And I decided that that was kind of the defining feature of this building. So I put some sort of stilts on the sides, accent the edges, and center the arches. Playing with the roof, I was going for a really, really high roof at first, but then I realized it looked too much like a church roof. So I went for the lower one. I like how it looks. Just copying it to the other side there. World Edit is really helpful.
throwing in the windows on this side, and they're actually going to be end up. They're in it, they're gonna they're gonna change uh, because I'm gonna decide to remove the doors on the, on the sides there. But that's not gonna happen until we get to the other side of the building. So once we're on this side, uh, I'm trying to repeat what's going to happen on the other side, but then I decide, since there are no doors on this side, I'll just make a larger bay window on the first floor, and I'm going to repeat that on the other side. You're not going to see that happen, though. I also put these little arches uh, to sort of bring together the main arches that are in the center of the, the whole structure, and I do that on the front as well. Now I'm going to work on the uh, the backyard area. Uh, this is sort of a super expensive private park, and uh, I actually don't realize it's off center yet. <laughs> there we go. Officially, it's still off center by about by about one square. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Put in some grass and some water. There we go. Put in some vines to make it look nice and green. At night it would be very romantic. So this is the inside of that house. And <laughs> with this space that I created, um, you can't do much with it. I actually found out. Um, you just end up with a really awkward living area. So once I get... I put the table in just to sort of center my space. Get an idea of where the first room was going to be. And I'm playing with some shelves on the... Uh, or some counters on the side of the windows there. I put in the stairs with some railings at first. But I'm eventually going to decide to remove them. Here I decided to put a fireplace in the center of the space. Just to serve as sort of a multi-purpose, you know, warming the whole area and serving as a separator from room to room. We're going to switch sides and I'm going to make a small lounge. I put some wood on the right there so that they could uh, have a place to uh, restoke the fire. And, of course, you got to have chairs to sit in while you're, you know, lounging about. And I'm going to add a visual separator in the carpet there. So this is the left tower of the building. And i got to <laughs> position the door. It's always hard to get the painting you want. Gonna add some books and turn this into a sort of study. A little private place. And then on the right hand tower, I'm going to add a bedroom. And I decided to put in some red wool drapes. Now, I don't know how well that comes across, but I sort of like how it feels when you're in the room. and add some fence to sort of make it look like it's being hung there by something. And I'm going to move on to the other two buildings in the front. Trying to separate them distinctly by height and shape. I put a little second floor observation deck now I'm playing with the roof there. And it's too high. <laughs> and now it's shrunk to about head height. And since the roof didn't look right to me, I decided to sort of space it out. And I really like how the, the shape that I ended up with.
for this last building, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with the shape. It just ended up looking a little bit standard. So I flattened out the roof to make it a little bit more distinct. Not sure how much that helped, though. Filling in the windows. And lighten up the deck. Just adding lights in general. Trying to hide the, uh, the source of uh, power for the lights, usually, um, can be very difficult. Okay, we're now inside the left house. And I'm playing with stairs and I realize very quickly that <laughs> I want to put in another fireplace. So I have to move the stairs and sort of space out a fire. Adding some extra lights, and a big, long table. Then I'm going to add some crafting bench, well, just a crafting bench, and uh, some furnaces and some chests to make it a livable space. And now I'm bringing the fireplace up to the second floor. And since I'm doing that anyway, I decided to add a fire on the second floor. Why not? And once I add some logs on the right there and a crafting table and a furnace on the on the left, it's set. And that is the rich district of the Cortland Dune Castle area. I'm pretty darn pleased with how it turned out. It looks fairly cohesive. And I don't know if I'm saying that just to reassure myself. <laughs> anyway, if you'd like to tell me what you think of my kingdom um, so far, please make a comment below, uh, like, and subscribe should you wish to do so, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.